In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Dr. Funk. Hello, run friends. Welcome back here on this channel, the red channel. I mainly show you how to make awesome run cocktails. So if that sounds like fun, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future videos. And if you like the recipe, if you like what I'm about by the end of the video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up because that really helps this channel grow. So your shopping list, this is a nice and easy five ingredient cocktail. Then you should, if you into the sort of rum and tiki cocktails, you should have most of these ingredients. So uh, soda water in my, uh, in my little soda gun there. Again, we are going for a light, as I've said in the previous couple of videos, a light Puerto Rican rum. I do prefer this. I don't think this is that heavily aged at all, but I think it's a cracking, cracking rum. And I often use this instead of the kind of white, like Don Q Crystal up there for example i would use that because it gives a just a lovely sort of rounded uh, flavor to cocktails now uh, we've got pomegranate syrup which i class as traditional grenadine grenadine these days is more like a raspberry syrup if you like so i i don't really use grenadine i actually use pomegranate syrup now we've uh, i've got a come back to that in a second we've got some lime juice there this uh the original recipe is perno now for the long time viewers will know on this i've got the cornish thing going on this is tarquins from cornwall and it's their cornish pastis which is quite funny for me it's a dad joke but cornish pasties that's what cornwall's famous for isn't it pasties so cornish pasties that's what i call that but it's a nice simple cocktail so cocktail shaker, and we're going for 45 mil, one and a half ounces of your Puerto Rico rum, 22 and a half mil, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, 15 mil, half an ounce of pomegranate syrup, 30 mil, one ounce of soda or seltzer water. Just want a proper bar spoon, which is inherently about five mil of your perno or pasties. I accidentally put a bit too much there, so there we go. Good scoop of crushed ice. Then to serve up, take a sling glass or a footed pilsner and just shake and dump. Crown with a bit more crushed ice. Then I like a nice simple mint garnish on top. Now, I'll be honest, perhaps not on many people's palate this. I, from a general mass market point of view, I would go that this is a little bit too citrus forward and you might want to dial that back, or you might want to add a touch more syrup, a touch more pomegranate or grenadine syrup to kind of balance that out. But if you can get past the citrusy side of things, then the flavor, the nuance is actually really nice because you've got this little bit of balance of like this, the pastis, like the, uh, the perno that comes through in that cocktail that just goes really, really well, that offsets, you know, it's not a fruity cocktail, it's quite citrusy, but just kind of ups, offsets that little bit of sort of pomegranate in there in the rum. Delicious, easy sipper, but for some of you, you just might need to tinker a little bit with your sweet sour ratio. 